Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off all this hair underneath. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. I kind of butchered so many times, so I'm not, not gonna even mess with this side OD. I'm just gonna take this down a little bit. So with my NARS concealer in the color Macadamia, I'm putting this on all my areas that have scars, okay? I have scars too, guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Benefit Brow Kit. And this is really old, so I'm not even sure if it's sold anymore. But I use this sometimes when I just need a break from the Anastasia Dip Brow. And I like to use this for my brows because it gives me a nice natural look. So if you don't really want crazy striking brows, and you just want nice, neutral, and just natural looking, this one is for you, and I love how brown it is, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and use my sample of my Fenty foundation because she didn't restock yet and you know what I need to be a part of the the get down so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this I feel like it's partially my color it's just very yellow bronzer can fix that Next, I went ahead and I mixed this foundation actually with some Bobbi Brown and the color Warm Almond because, like I said, this foundation is just so super yellow for me and I kind of feel a little like crazy, you know? So with my NARS concealer, I'm going to go ahead and start highlighting my areas and just damp this out with a beauty blender. Real simple. Then with the Fenty... What is this the fenty matchstick and the color truffle i use this to contour my face and i'm not gonna lie this is probably my favorite way of contouring like the product just melts in your skin okay, so now i'm just contouring my face with the fenty beauty matchstick <laughs> this is in the color truffle this little trick right here this is new i always see it done but i'm like let's go ahead and be a tad bit different today and then this is to kind of bring down to make my forehead look a little smaller because it's been a little big lately so. So I actually use a buffering brush from Sephora to go ahead and buff this out because it just gives it a more nicer finish than a beauty blender. Sasha Buttercup. And I'm just going to place that in the areas where I crease. When I actually use a brush, usually I use a beauty blender, but not in the mood today. But the funniest thing is I kind of retired my Laura Mercier, so it's just sitting upstairs in my dresser. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my lashes. And I'm really excited to use these because these are from Tiff Benson and it's from her company called Flaunt Beaut. <laughs> so it looks like this. All right, and today I'm gonna be wearing Conceited. These lashes look amazing and they're mink. I'm using my Lash, Lash Duo Eyelash Glue. So these lashes are freaking amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, my pictures have been like spot on on point because these lashes get make your freaking photos look amazing. But I took it back with this bronzer from MAC, Gold Deposit, and I use this to highlight my face. It's amazing. Now with a regular, actually with the Kylie Jenner dark brown lip liner, I use that to line my lips. And then I just use a NYX lingerie to kind of just put, just, just to kind of blend out and buffer out with my finger. All right, so if you ask me, I feel like I transformed the shit out of my face. Like, So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my hair. Today's wig is provided by Wow Ebony, okay? And I dyed it. So towards the end, I'm going to be showing you guys the, how I dyed it, how I got it to be that color. Because you guys have been asking me what color that is. So this is the Wow Ebony wig. I'll have the specs for you down below. But I'm not gonna lie, this wig was actually really amazing, like, especially when it was done and dried, like the curls stayed intact. Really impressed with this hair. Really, really, really impressed. So I dyed this hair about twice. So I dyed it twice for 40 minutes each. Um, this is the highest. I'm gonna assume that it's, it lifts when you see the end result because I kept it on for about 80 minutes in total by dyeing it twice and that's the highest it got but i really love the color and so did everybody else on instagram so this is exactly how i achieved it and i didn't do anything i didn't tone it i kind of just left it as is and this was the pretty much end result this is how it looks guys this looks amazing and this is it just being air dried oh and it smells really good too i used um silicone mix for this but this is how the wig looks. I kind of have it on the had, had it drying and just air drying. This is how the natural curl pattern is. 
So inside, this is how it looks. I added my own adjustable headband. But yeah, guys, these curls look freaking amazing. And the hair color is actually really pretty, so. All right, so I'm going for a side part. Before I go ahead and perfect the edges, I just want to get my part down pack first. But guys, this hair is so freaking pretty. Look at it. Look at it. All right, I know I want a side part. So, and I want a moon-shaped side part. So I want it to be a moon-shaped side part is when it's kind of shaped like a moon. All right, and I'm gonna do that right here. I kind of have a small part there, but I'm gonna make it a little bit, open it a little bit more. So, I already bleached the knots on this closure, on, I mean, on this frontal wig, so that's already done. And I don't wanna run my hands through this too much because the curls are already set and pretty. So I wanna keep that. The only tool, and probably the most important tool that I'm gonna need for my hair is I'm gonna need a hot comb. That's probably the only thing. I might need to change my lens for this camera though, so let me go do that. Just pause you for a second. My hot comb is hot as hell. hair to be extremely flat well right here I like to make a little bit of volume so I'm gonna actually well make it look a little bit more voluminous I'm gonna hot comb it going up so and then if you want um just add a little bit right there and just use your rat tail comb to kind of just hold it right here a little bit you can see I drew my comb through it so it looks a little bit like neater Okay, so that has that fall thing going on. I'm not gonna use Gotta Be Glued because I just haven't been able to use it. Like, I don't use Gotta Be Glued from ear to ear. I kinda just call it a day. But because my adjustable bands are adjustable, I can make this tighter, which will make it lay even flatter. So, not really creating baby hairs, but kinda combing it over the lace so that it doesn't look so obvious. So, kinda like that kinda thing going on. So, just gonna flatten back here just by holding a hot comb on my hair simple and sometimes what I do to make it even flatter is if you kind of put tension on the hair and pull it and then put this there boom okay and this is how we have it can you move that now a little bit closer and point it down a little bit yeah I'll tell you what say it now move back. move back a little bit but Keep maybe make it a little bit shorter a little shorter oh uh, maybe point it down towards me oh i Is love it all right guys now it's time for me to change into my clothes and i'm gonna wear something really cute um fashion nova uh,